Hi guys, I am Lo, if you don't know, and uh, I've been on YouTube in a while, but here I am, giving it a go again, now we're in the uh, isolation vibes, and today I'm going to try and laminate and tint my own eyebrows. I mean, I feel like everyone's trying to do things at home right now, because they can't see the people who usually touch their face, um, so I thought I might as well film this. And if it goes really well, it'll be helpful. And if it goes really bad, it could also be helpful. And you can all laugh at me with my no eyebrows. So I've been doing some extensive research by extension, by extensive research. I mean, watching many YouTube tutorials, not actual training. But from watching both professionals do it on other people and watching people do it at home, I think I've got I've got the gist. So this is what I've found most people at home are using, which is just a little set off Amazon. I saw lots of people on YouTube using it, and then I saw Laura Cranston, who I actually know as a real human being, using it, and she has eyebrows, so she was safe. So I'm going to zoom in right now so you can see what my eyebrows are naturally like. I have not plucked them or done anything in weeks. So my eyebrows, yes, they kind of grow more down, but they very easily brush up. You see, like some people's do not. Sorry for the rustling. Yes, I am. Some people's don't. I know from doing makeup when people want that really fluffy brow look I do on myself. I'm like, it's not always possible on everyone. But I guess if you get this professionally done, um, it might be. But I don't know how well it would work doing it on yourself. But I just, I feel like it'll be easy to do on me. As you can see, like, you literally just with a spoolie brush my brow hairs up and, like, they want to go more that way. Whereas, like, some people, if they've got really thick hairs, like, they would just be going nowhere. You'd need a really strong product to brush them up. So in this little kit, now this is advertised as a lash lift kit, but it comes with what you need to do your eyebrows, but as well as some extra bits that you'd only need for doing your eyelashes. So they've got like a false lashes glue, they call it on here, um, which is, I think it's basically like a water-based glue, which you can push your brows up with. So because my eyebrows brush up so easily, I'm not sure about doing this step, I haven't decided yet, um, just because I feel like it's just putting extra product in my brows that I probably don't need to do. What I am going to do is brush up with the product, then I'm going to put the cling film over it to like keep them up while it's happening, so maybe I'll just do that. Maybe not the glue, because I did read on someone, on the comments of someone using this kit, that someone was like, oh, you only need this to, like, push the lashes up for the lash one, so... Basically, you've got the different steps. You've got step one, which is the perm. Then you've got the fixation. Fixation? Um, basically, that neutralises the perm so that the hairs stay as you want. It would be the same if you're getting your hair permed. Um, and then there is a cleanser and nutrition it says which is like an oil for your eyebrows this does make your eyebrows a bit more dry and brittle get this kind of thing done so you need to keep your eyebrows really moist and hydrated i did read somewhere someone was like when you're in the shower put conditioner on your eyebrows so i'm going to be doing that okay so step one i'm going to take the cleanser to remove any oil or dust or whatnot from your brows so i'm just going to dip in here just gonna scrub around and make sure we're all clean. Right, I think I have squeaky clean eyebrows. So get right in. Oh, oh. So that was really gonna pop out. Number one is perm. It stinks. I'm getting some spoolies out ready. Clean spoolies. I've got like disposable lip brushes, but these might work well for this. Little brushes like this. What do I do? Will it perm the hair on the brushes? <laughs> I'm just gonna start by brushing the hairs up as much as I can. Just with the spoolie. And then I'm just gonna hope that like once my eyebrows are wet, they will just manipulate and go up. So... Obviously I'm not using this on a client because I'm not trained in doing this. I'm just using it on myself so I'm just going to dip in with the brush. So I'm going to start painting this through my brow hairs. See they're brushing up how I thought they would. 
yes brow hairs behave yourself and you don't want to get this all over your skin but my eyebrow hairs are quite long so it's quite difficult <laughs> we will just have to pray for my skin hello with a cleanser and a cotton bud i'm just gonna go around and take unnecessary permanent solution off my skin as much as i can but as i said the fluff goes quite far next eyebrow the thing is i kind of want to work quickly because i don't want one eyebrow to be like more permanent than the other so again brushing this side up Just with the perming solution. It's like it smells it smells a bit eggy, but you're not like choking. So again, clean cotton bud, clean solution. I'm just gonna go around, take that excess off around my brows. Okay, I'm gonna put some cling film on my brows. Should have should have prepared my cling film earlier. Oh, it does not look enough. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Why am I trying to? I need to let these cook for about eight minutes. Let's set a little timer. Maybe I can do some uh, do some fishing on Animal Crossing. <laughs> People were very upset about Bunny Day, I really wasn't that bothered. Like people were going on that they were catching so many eggs that they couldn't do anything else and stuff. Like I didn't have that issue. Maybe I joined the party a bit late when they'd sorted it out a bit and made there be less eggs, but people were getting stressed. Do I say my little person in my little house? I mean it's probably got like finger marks all over this thing. <laughs> Off uh, all the all the snacks I eat when uh when doing this, but there's my little person. She's got pink hair. She did have like silvery grey hair, but I've switched up a bit. She's wearing like a cute little summery outfit as it was quite sunny on the island today. Um, but she, she does have outfit options. She's a stylish girl. Collecting some things. <laughs> I was like reading into some fish in there and that alarm. Shooketh. Right. So I'm going to take this off. Got a nice sweaty little forehead. Right, so to remove this, it tells you to use this. It has like a little comey situation on it. I don't know if you can see. I'm supposed to comb this off. What if I just like comb my eyebrow hairs off? Oh, I will cry. It's kind of hurt. Is this really taking this stuff off? Like a little bit. We lost one hair. We lost one hair, guys. We'll make it work. It'll be fine. <laughs> In the sophomore, I've not put anything on it because I don't. I don't know if I can use the cleanser in between. But this is coming off a lot better. I think that like scraped off the chunks. <laughs> right. So <laughs> now I'm gonna take. That blue one that says fixation. I'm going to go in with all these little brushes again and go in with the fixation solution, which is blue. So, yeah, I've read that this works like a perm on your hair would, and you need to put this on because it neutralizes the chemicals that you put on in the beginning to stop stop the reaction happening, like continuing I'm guessing, so that the hair fixes in place. I hope this is the correct science, if I am wrong, please feel free to let me know. I'm not someone who likes to dive into something without some knowledge, <laughs> so I did, I did try and do my research the best I could. Okay. You just want to like make sure that they're really pushed up and perfect underneath the underneath <laughs> the cling film as well. Like if not, just lift it back up and brush them up with a spoolie. Yeah, another eight minutes on the clock. Sun's kind of going down here, so lighting's getting a bit wild. Oh, 
put any there, I can edit this off. Honestly, like this hasn't stung or irritated me at all. It doesn't seem to be irritating my skin. I'm not red. Ooh, sweaty forehead again. But I'm gonna go in with an actual cleansing pad and make sure this is definitely all off. And then I think you're supposed to try and not get your eyebrows wet for the next 48 hours. He is right, if you can do this multiple times. I've literally used this whole bottle of cleanser. <laughs> I have to find out what, what actually is in here. It's probably like my slow water. Crazy! You can see it's only kind of like the really shortest stubby eyebrows in my eyebrow hairs that haven't fully stuck up. Let's see what happens when I move them around. <laughs> Editing this video and somehow like i've tried it on my ipad on Rosie's macbook everything and the whole section of the video where i tinted my eyebrows is gone farewell <laughs> uh. instead i'm going to talk you through everything i did because i physically cannot do it again like my eyebrows will be black they're already a little bit darker than what i'd like like in this light they're okay but in some they're like they look crazy dark so I'm hoping they fade a bit. This is what I used, the Isla Dye Brow in Dark Brown. You get inside this with the little dish in the middle. You get the colour cream. So you put two centimetres of this into that little circle in the dish. Then you do five drops of the activator into it. Smush it around. I mixed it up with like the bottom of this little disposable lip brush so that it's like a thick cream you don't want it so it's dripping it needs to be thick so I guess like if it was too th like thin just like add more of the dye which is like the thicker cream rather than the activator so that it's thicker and you'll probably have too much product but your product will be the correct consistency I'm guessing and I literally spread it over wherever I had hair I put it on the very front last because I don't want that to be super dark and then I took like a bit of micellar water on a cotton bud and just tidied up any little edges that I thought looked a bit messier. Then I left it on, I think in total it was on for about 10 minutes. Probably won't do it as much like next time. Let's see how the brows are for the next few days. But um, left it on for about 10 minutes, but about, about five minutes in, I took it off the front of my brows and um, I actually did a little insta story at that time so I'll insert this little video here of what that looked like I just took some micellar water on a cotton bud and rubbed off these front bits so they weren't super like dark and intense in here and then took off the rest with micellar water on a cotton pad after the 10 minutes was done and yeah now I can continue it's okay just don't come on camera but come and stand here and tell me what you think of my brows <laughs> Obviously the dye is a little bit dark right now, which will calm down in the next few days. Yeah, unrecognisable. Unrecognisable. <laughs> too much. Too much? I can't even look at you right now. <laughs> Hi Mimi. Blue likes them. Look. No? no. Can I laminate your brows? So that went well. Yeah, I have to I have to block the light <laughs> from the window here because it's like, what do you think? I mean, that's a terrible question to ask because I know some people hate brows like this and some people love brows like this. So there's going to be a mixture of opinions. So if you want to buy this kit and this dye, I have a link below. It is an Amazon affiliate link, so I do get some little pennies. Honestly, I think it was really easy. It wasn't that stressful as I thought it was going to be. And once you've like done it once, I feel like I could do it so many times now, super easily. So, I'm going to scratch me. So I was, I'm just putting some washing away back here and all that. Um, but I just want to show you what my brows are like a couple of days later because I know they looked so intense at first. I'm going to take my glasses off because it drives me crazy on camera how they make my face look like smaller here and then it's just too much i can't see now but <laughs> um yeah i think my brows look really good now they're a bit more chill 
Um, obviously I don't have as much hair under this one so it's like not as dark but I literally just need to take like a touch of brow pencil through the bottom here and they're like pretty perfect. Um, I have got them wet now two days later and they're absolutely fine like I didn't care pull them down obviously just like did this when I was washing my face and just made sure when I was drying them I just drying them dry my face I just like push them up a bit um and then morning and night i take the oil that came with the kit on a little spoolie and brush it through my brows to keep them really hydrated because you don't want the hair to get like brittle and snap off so yeah that's the current situation i think i'm gonna uh, finally put a bit of makeup on later wild um so i'll show you what they look like with a bit of makeup on too but i hope this gives you a better idea of what they look like rather than the first this day when they're a bit crazy. That's just below getting under the blankets there. Here I am with some makeup on. So you can see my brows with the makeup. Um, looks less crazy with makeup, obviously. I think generally it's a lot better now. The dye has calmed down and all I've done today is literally put a tiny bit of brow pencil through where I have some gaps. Um, I use, oh, I could find it. Anyway, it's the HD Brows Brow Tech Pencil in Foxy. But, um, yeah, this is now the brow situation. I've got no brow gel on or anything. Just the makeup around them and the tiny bit, tiny bit, tiny bit of brow pencil. So yeah, I am thoroughly enjoying them. If it's not your vibe. Uh, I'm sorry that you've watched the video at this point because what a waste of your life. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up or a comment or just something. Let me know what you'd like to see, what you'd like me to try and do. I did used to do nails many, many years ago and I have bought myself a poly gel kit off Amazon and I am going to try doing that in a video. I might just be screaming on the floor because I can't get it right. I'm kind of one of those people that if I don't instantly become good at something, then I'm really mad. So, that could be interesting. I know I do some like shorter videos than this on my IGTV, but I feel like I needed a place where I could ramble because some people want longer rambly videos seeing the process and some people just want to know the facts and want to know what to do. So this is where I will be doing more rambling than the quick insta vids. I mean obviously if absolutely nobody likes these then I'll just go back to IGTV. Farewell YouTube, in and out. But I'm going to give it a go because I did a vote on Instagram and it seemed pretty 50-50 on people who wanted me to do IGTV more and people who wanted me to do YouTube more. So I've decided I'm just going to try and do both and see what works better. But hopefully, I'll see you in the next vid. Bye!